In the hushed stillness of a bygone era, the silver screen flickered to life, casting shadows that danced like whispers in a moonlit garden. And there, in the heart of that cinematic reverie, unfolded the iconic tale of Dr. No, a masterpiece that bore the yearning of discovery and the thrill of the unknown. Can you recall the first time your eyes met its beguiling frames? Perhaps it was in the quiet of your living room, a technicolor world unfolding before you, or maybe it was under the grandeur of a starlit sky, on an open-air screen, where the salt-tinged breeze mingled with the suspenseful hum of espionage. Ah, the memories it wove. Was it the suave presence of Sean Connery as James Bond, a character destined to be forever etched into the annals of pop culture? Or the sultry allure of Ursula Andress emerging from the foamy embrace of the sea, an image that would forever define the concept of a Bond girl? The cinematic tapestry of Dr. No was woven with threads of mystery, danger, and charm, drawing us into a world where villains schemed beneath hidden layers and the fate of nations hung in precarious balance. But let us venture deeper, peel back the layers, and uncover the hidden gems that rest beyond the surface. Did you know that the signature line, Bond, James Bond, wasn't even uttered until this very film? And the exotic locales that painted the backdrop were a symphony of real-life beauty and imaginative flair, inviting us to traverse the globe alongside our charismatic hero. So, with the stage set and memories aglow, let us journey together into the realm of Dr. No. Unearth the secrets, relive the thrills, and perhaps, in the corridors of your mind, the echoes of that first encounter shall resound anew. And now, without further ado, let the revelations begin, woven from the fabric of time and imagination. Dr. No, released in 1962, marks the genesis of the iconic James Bond film franchise. Adapted from Ian Fleming's novel, this spy thriller introduces the suave British MI6 agent, James Bond, portrayed by Sean Connery. The film follows Bond's mission to investigate the mysterious disappearance of a fellow agent and uncover a plot orchestrated by the nefarious Dr. No. The movie's allure stems from its seamless blend of espionage, action, and romance, epitomizing the quintessential Bond formula. Sean Connery's charismatic portrayal establishes the blueprint for future Bond actors, while the film's exotic locales, sophisticated gadgets, and suspenseful sequences set the tone for the series' distinct style. The success of Dr. No paved the way for a legendary cinematic franchise, influencing popular culture through its timeless characters, catchphrases, and captivating narratives that continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Whistling Birds and Lost in Translation Unveiling trivia from 1,962 seconds Dr. No the suave spy with a taste for danger burst onto the silver screen in 1,962 seconds Dr. No, marking the inception of the iconic James Bond film franchise. Beyond the intrigue and charisma, the film harbors lesser-known tales that paint its creation in vibrant hues. Whistling wonders, amid the suspenseful sequences, attentive viewers might have noted the melodious sounds of birds warbling in the background. Surprisingly, these avian melodies were not a product of sophisticated sound engineering. Instead, the chirps were fashioned using a humble child's bird call whistle, unveiling the ingenuity that often lies behind cinematic magic. Lost in translation, titles hold immense power in capturing a film's essence, but they can also harbor unintentional amusement. Dr. No embarked on an amusing linguistic journey when the studio's Japanese affiliate initially translated the title as We Don't Want Doctors. The stark contrast between the original's enigma and the translated bluntness highlights the nuances that can slip through the cracks in global communication. Across the airwaves, Dr. No had its triumphant moments on both sides of the Atlantic. It made its British television debut on October 28, 1975, courtesy of ITV, tantalizing viewers with Bond's exploits from their living rooms. However, the United States had a sneak peek, courtesy of ABC, a year prior, on November 10, 1974, revealing the global anticipation for the suave secret agent's escapades. As the curtain closed on Dr. No, its legacy was cemented, leaving a trail of avian echoes, linguistic curiosities, and transatlantic telecasts. These hidden facets remind us that even the most legendary of films harbor tales beyond the camera's lens. Rejected and resurrected, Sean Connery's journey to becoming Bond in a twist of fate fit for the silver screen, Sir Sean Connery's iconic portrayal of James Bond almost never came to pass. Initially deemed unfit for the role by United Artists, the studio's skepticism was swiftly overturned in a turn of events that would alter cinematic history. United Artists' doubts about Connery's suitability reached producer Harry Saltzman through a cable, a rejection that could have led to an entirely different seven. However, fate intervened when the studio had a change of heart, aligning with the producer's vision. The charismatic Scott's suave charm and magnetic presence soon dispelled any lingering uncertainty. Connery's embodiment of the suave secret agent left an indelible mark on cinema. The immortal words Bond, James Bond, rolled off his tongue effortlessly, etching themselves into pop culture's lexicon. 
Garnering acclaim, this signature line secured a spot as the 22nd greatest movie quote according to the American Film Institute. Premier magazine cemented its significance further, ranking it 51st among the 100 greatest movie lines. Remarkably, Canary's path to Bond began with an unexpected source, a screening of Darby O'Gill and The Little People. Producer Albert R. Broccoli's attendance at the film's climax, where Canary engaged in a fiery fistfight, ignited his conviction in the actor's potential. Broccoli's wife Dana validated this intuition, confirming Canary's undeniable sex appeal. But publicity's game of chance wasn't over yet. A contest sought the ideal embodiment of Bond, culminating in six finalists chosen for screen tests by Broccoli, Saltzman, and Ian Fleming. Among them was a 28-year-old model named Peter Anthony, who physically resembled the iconic spy but lacked the necessary acting prowess. Canary's star quality ultimately shone through, securing him the coveted role despite the spirited competition. A true testament to destiny, his journey from near rejection to becoming the definitive James Bond is a Hollywood tale that resonates through generations. Unveiling Hidden Notes, the musical controversy of 1,962 seconds Dr. No The classic 1962 film Dr. No is undoubtedly etched into cinematic history as the birth of the James Bond franchise. Sean Connery's suave portrayal of the British secret agent has left an indelible mark on pop culture. But beneath the glamorous veneer of this iconic movie lies a musical controversy that has long gone unnoticed. Contrary to popular belief, the resonant phrase Bond, James Bond does not mark the first words uttered by the suave spy. The opening scene reveals a different introduction as Bond, played by Sean Connery, addresses a mysterious woman. I admire your courage, miss. He begins, withholding the legendary catchphrase until his enigmatic face comes into view. This subtle shift in the movie's dialogue has escaped the radar of many Bond enthusiasts. However, a more intriguing and lesser-known controversy surrounds the film's soundtrack, particularly the contributions of celebrated Jamaican composer Carlos Malcolm. His role in scoring and arranging the Dr. No soundtrack remains obscured, as all his efforts are listed as uncredited or attributed to other musicians involved in the film. Carlos Malcolm's disappointment over this omission is well documented in various articles. Astonishingly, both Monty Norman and Vic Flick claim authorship of the iconic James Bond guitar riff, which was in fact penned by Malcolm. Complicating matters, Caribbean copyright laws weren't established until 1976, leaving Malcolm with little legal recourse to claim his intellectual property rights. Delving into the score album of Dr. No only adds to the mystery. The James Bond theme and variations of Underneath the Mango Tree, Jump Up, and The Island Speaks are the sole inclusions linked to the film. The remaining tracks, seemingly unrelated, raise questions about their origins and relevance. Some tracks that emerged later on subsequent CDs were re-recorded by the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra under Nick Rain's baton. The intrigue surrounding Dr. No continues to capture the imagination of cinephiles and music aficionados alike. From the unexpected opening line to the uncredited musical genius of Carlos Malcolm, this 1962 masterpiece proves that even decades later, it can still stir up revelations that challenge our understanding of its history. Intricacies abound beneath the surface of this beloved classic, and as we unearth these hidden details, we're reminded that the world of cinema is a realm of surprises and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. 1,962 Seconds Dr. No, a sleeper hit that shook the industry in a surprising turn of events. The United Artists Studios' cautious approach to the release of the 1962 film Dr. No ultimately led to unexpected success. The film, which introduced the world to the iconic character of James Bond, wasn't met with fanfare upon its initial release. United Artists chose a subdued promotional strategy, opting for a quiet opening rather than an elaborate publicity campaign. However, it was the power of word of mouth that propelled the film into the spotlight. While United Artists seemed hesitant, audiences had a different opinion. Dr. No struck a chord with moviegoers, who flocked to theaters and drove up ticket sales substantially. The film's thrilling narrative, Sean Connery's charismatic portrayal of James Bond, and the captivating presence of Ursula Andress as Honey Rider were elements that resonated deeply with viewers. The unexpected triumph of Dr. No caught United Artists off guard. The studio soon found itself chastised for its lack of confidence in the project. The film's enormous profit not only silenced the doubters but also prompted United Artists to reconsider their strategy. The studio's response was decisive, they more than doubled the budget for the next installment in the series, from Russia with Love, signaling their newfound faith in the Bond franchise. Notably, Ursula Andress, who played the iconic role of Honey Rider, emerged as a breakout star. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Newcomer in 1964, a testament to her impact on the film and its subsequent success. Behind the scenes, the financial details were equally intriguing. Ursula Andress, who embodied the quintessential Bond girl, received a modest salary of $6,000 for her role in Dr. No. Adjusted for inflation, this amounts to around $55,000 in 2022. 
This fact adds an interesting layer to the film's legacy, underscoring the transformations that both the Bond franchise and the film industry as a whole have undergone over the decades. Dr. No serves as a prime example of how the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry can lead to astonishing outcomes. United Artists' cautious approach inadvertently ignited a spark that would evolve into one of the most enduring film franchises in history. As we reflect on the impact of Dr. No, it's clear that sometimes, it's the unexpected strategies and the power of the audience's voice that shape the course of cinematic history. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of 1,962 seconds, Dr. No, let us pause to marvel at the timelessness that cinema weaves into our lives. The allure of Sean Connery's suave sophistication and Ursula Andress emerging from the crystalline waters have not just graced the silver screen, but also etched their essence into the tapestry of our memories. As the credits roll and the echoes of Monty Norman's iconic theme linger, consider the moments this classic masterpiece has woven into the fabric of your own narrative. Was it the suspense that kept you on the edge of your seat, the intrigue that set your imagination ablaze, or perhaps the very first time your eyes met the striking landscapes of Jamaica? Each frame, a memory, each line, an invitation to journey back into the enigma of the past. Now, dear cinephile and seeker of stories, it's your turn. What chapters of Dr. No have you inscribed in your heart? What emotions did its celluloid magic conjure in your soul? Share your thoughts, relive your moments, and let the whispers of nostalgia guide you back to that time when you first encountered the enigma of Dr. No. Your reflections, like pieces of a puzzle, contribute to the mosaic of human experience that these films bring to life. So, as we close this cinematic tome, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for joining this exploration of the timeless allure of Dr. No. Your time, your curiosity, and your presence enrich the journey of unraveling the mysteries that film bequeaths upon us. Until we reunite to delve into the enchantment of another celluloid marvel, remember, the past is but a projection, the present a canvas, and the future, an ever-evolving script waiting for its turn on the silver screen of life. Warmest thanks for sharing this cinematic sojourn, and until next time, 